What's up, family? Uh, I want to talk to you about a story out of California that I saw on the news uh, this week. And, uh, man, in a previous video where I was talking about a young man who had uh, jumped off the bridge in Memphis, uh, took his life, you know, this story out of California is about uh, three people being found dead in a home out there and they've been dead for over a year and it appears that it was a murder suicide man uh, the issues people go through just so many just so many issues that people are going through uh I've never had, uh, well, maybe when I was younger, I probably had thoughts of suicide because I didn't like the direction that my life was in. And, uh, you know, but they were just thoughts. You know, it wasn't anything that lingered on, you know. And a lot of times I would be under the influence, you know, when I would feel this way. You know, but I was, I didn't like the direction of my life because I was unable to help my mother and my sisters, you know, and I wanted to be a man and be able to provide for them. That was my reason for having thoughts. I felt worthless. I felt hopeless, you know. Now, in this case, I can't say nobody will ever know, but... The people's family who lived in Canada hadn't heard from their family members in over a year. And they uh, contacted their local authorities who contacted the authorities in California to do a welfare check. And uh, when they entered the home, they found these three people dead and they found a gun not far from their bodies. Man, uh, Mental health, mental health. You know, I can't stress this. I can't stress it enough. Mental health. You know, uh, suicide is part of mental health and mental illness in a way. You know, because things occur mental health wise that causes a person to want to end their life. You know, they could be severely depressed, uh, paranoid, schizophrenic, bipolar. I mean, you, countless uh, reasons why a person ends up taking their life. But the issue I got with this particular story right here is that nobody, no neighbors or anything, notice anything about these people I mean you didn't notice after a week or two these people not coming and going from their house or you know bills might be piling up as far as their mail is concerned you mean tell me nobody nobody saw anything and that's the problem with us you know we are uh, we don't we don't check on each other like we should. We don't check on each other very much anymore. You know. Uh, sometimes people be saying, well, I ain't trying to get nobody to be in this, but at the same time, you know, you got elderly people living alone with no assistance and they don't have anybody to check on them. And that's a shame, man. If you notice, I'm just saying, if you notice that I'm not coming out of my house for over a week, not not moving my car or anything of that nature, man, please call somebody so that somebody can do a welfare check, knock on the door. If they got to break it down to get up in there, whatever needs to be done. But 
It's just no reason that these people should have been dead up in that house in the tire. They said 18 months. So it's over a year. And nobody saw nothing. Nobody noticed nothing. We got we to gotta do better, family. Each and every one of us. We got we to start showing some kind of concern out here. Till next time, man. Really sad story.